There's nothing more enjoyable than a freshly cooked Irish breakfast, the full fry of us to say. And it's something we take great pride in our restaurant. We have our own breakfast team. We cook all our breakfast to order. And there's just something delicious about crispy bacon, you know, some delicious sausages, a nice soft fried egg, black and white pudding. It's just a feast. It's a match made in heaven. So I'm gonna show you just how to do a, a traditional Irish breakfast. We're gonna use some rapeseed oil. So I'm gonna put the wee pan is for the egg, but I don't need that yet. But I'm gonna use the big pan for my bacon and sausages, and then my pudding, I'm gonna heat that up. And then in the saucepan, we're gonna cook some mushrooms. So we're gonna use some nice chestnut mushrooms. So I'll just turn that down. So we're gonna talk about some of the products. So this is the raw products that I'm using. This is such delicious bacon, this streaky bacon, board be a quality assured, it's dry cured, whiskey smoked. We love this. You can use the, ba the back bacon, but this is the streaky rasher. It's just so delicious. These sausages here are produced in Monaghan. So the Irish pork, hand tied. There's no MSG in them and they're absolutely so, so tasty. And they're not a huge kind of like sausage, you know, they're a nice size sausage. Black and white pudding. These are just the most wonderful people from County Clare. Mirrors black and white pudding. And they've been making black and white pudding for generations, their granny's recipe. And I just really admire them because it's like a block of pudding. So that's the white and that's the black. And even the black pan fried with scallops is delicious, but with a poached egg, it's so delicious. I, I really admire them. And they won, you know, um, best small producer for Simply Better nearly three years ago. So the, it, the, they've been a wonderful success story. Okay, nice hot pan. You can see the way that's smoking. We're gonna start off by putting our sausages on. So bring everything kind of, if you can, to room temperature. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put on our bacon. I think you need about three slices of bacon. Now, tomatoes. We're gonna season these up first, and then we'll finish them with a little bit of, we would have salt first of all. So in the restaurant, we normally normally grill them, but I'm just gonna do it all in the one pan. They're quite big now, they're the vine tomatoes. I should have said that, they're growing in Ireland, okay? So the vine tomatoes are a little bit sweeter, so we're gonna start that there. Uh, this is the pudding, I'm gonna wash my hands, and then a little bit of time to go on to the tomatoes. Okay, so we're gonna start that cooking process. Try and get the bacon nice and crispy. In the saucepan, you saw me putting some uh, rapeseed oil. And then with the mushrooms, I'm keeping the stalks on. So I've just literally just wiped the mushrooms and these are the chestnut mushrooms here. So if you look in the saucepan, you can see the butter melting there. Perfect, thanks a minute. And then in goes our mushrooms. So timing is everything. It's about getting everything, like your mushrooms can be cooked ahead. I always like to cook my egg at the last minute. And remember, with the black and white pudding, that's, it's already cooked, so all you're doing is warming it through. You want it just warm through, a little bit crispy if you like that, and uh, I just think it's delicious in the fry up, so it is. Okay, now I don't wanna turn the bacon too soon. Just turn over the sauce, you see that nice bit of color. You can grill them if you want to. Salt, black pepper, works really well with mushrooms. So I'm just using some nice sea salt here and a little bit of black pepper for the mushrooms. And you guessed it, a little bit more butter. Now, what I like to do sometimes when the mushrooms start to cook, just put a spoonful or a little drizzle of water into it. That's all you need to do. Okay, so that's cooking up nicely there. Using the tongs. And we're just gonna let this kind of crisp up. Now, so turn the sausages, that's the key into turning it regularly. Now, in the restaurant, we, um, we serve box tea. And box tea is a tradition in West Cavan, Leitrim, you know, parts of this, the kind of the Northwest. And what it is, is just grated potato, cooked potato mixed together, cooked into a dumpling. But also what we serve in the restaurant is some potato bread. So we get this from a local bakery. And I'm just literally gonna pop that onto the pan when the black and white pudding goes onto the pan. Because all you're doing is just warming that through. Let's have a little look at this. No, I'm not ready yet. So keep the pan nice and high. That's the key for this. We're gonna turn over our tomatoes. Getting a little bit of color if you can see that. That's lovely. And then just turn over the mushrooms. So keep moving them. So it's good if you have a nice big pan. Now with the tomatoes, a little bit more oil, black pepper, and then just a little bit of thyme. Just some fresh thyme just goes over it like that. 
You need to be careful because you don't want to overcook them or let them go soft or mushy and that really depends on the ripeness of the actual um, tomatoes. Okay, on to the mushrooms. Let's have a little look. So we're cooking these. Just a little tip. If I just bring over the saucepan just to show you very quickly and literally a spoonful. That's all of cold. So that's on cooking away there. We're going to flip over our bacon. Keeping the pan nice and high, that's really important. And I want to get that bacon nice and crispy. That needs a bit more cooking there. Let's move it over here. All right. So it doesn't really take long, but it's all about time, and especially when you're doing it, if you have a family gathering or anything like that, you have family coming, it's nothing nicer than a freshly cooked breakfast, to be honest with you. Now what I'm gonna do is move over my sausages there, move the tomatoes there, and then I'm gonna to start to put on my black and white pudding. So this is from Mears, they're based in um, County Clare. So I had the pleasure of going down and meeting them and they're just great producers. They're very passionate about their black and white pudding and they do it so well, they really do. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in here now. I'm gonna turn down the mushrooms and then we're gonna to start to cook our egg. Lovely. Just a little bit of butter is gonna give lovely flavor. Now, corn fed eggs, I really like them. So this is just our potato bread, corn fed eggs, that's them there. So what we're gonna do then is just literally crack one of them, actually Borbia quality assured, you can see that there. So when you're um, cooking an egg, oil and butter, crack the egg, hold it down and open it out. And then what I like to do when I cook an egg is to put a lid on it. Before I put the lid on, a little bit of salt and the lid, it creates steam and it should cook the egg really, really nice and softly. So that's really important. It's a little tip that we do when we're cooking eggs at home. Now look at the pudding. The bacon's getting crispy, exactly what I want. Oh my God. You know, it's one of my favorite. And you know, if you have a really good breakfast like this, it can be so delicious and it can just keep you going for the day. Now we're gonna get our potato bread. I think one little piece is perfect for that. And then our lovely mushrooms. So if you see the mushrooms, the water's important. You don't want too much water, a little bit of butter. It's looking good. Now, what I like to do before I start to serve up is to take the bacon off, turn down the pan, and then with some kitchen paper. Because you've seen that it's cooked in oil and also you've kind of rendered out, taken some of the oil from the actual bacon and then onto some kitchen paper, your sausages. Same for the bacon. So two or three slices, it depends. I mean, like I, I think it needs three, but then I do love my bacon. And you've seen me using this bacon a lot in the recipes you do. Um, I think it's really gorgeous. So look at our potato bread, I've just flipped it over. Flip over the pudding, turn everything off. The egg, I'm gonna turn up the gas. So it's all about timing. So the bacon and the sausages go on and then the tomatoes. And that really depends on, like I think personally half a tomato is enough because they're quite big. But I put the full tomato on just to show you. Now, so we're gonna start to serve up. Just have a little look at our egg. Okay, it's not done yet. And the kind of lid on it kind of protects it. That's really, really important. Creates a little bit of steam. Let's turn off our mushrooms. And if the mushrooms begin to cook a little bit too much, just put another little splash of water in there. So that's them, they've kept their shape. You can slice them, I've quartered them, I've kept the little stalk in. So I think they're perfect. Now, good. I don't want the egg to overcook. So I'm gonna put that onto the plate first. You can always preheat your plate. Obviously I'm just taking it from the side there. So I love the fact that the egg is nice and soft and runny. Can you see that there? Perfect, thanks Amilla. So that's gonna go up there. And then bring over your dish. Let's arrange the sausages, which are beautifully cooked. Good Irish pork, our tomato, and I think half the tomato is, is definitely enough for me. Our bacon, two or three slices. What do you think? I know you're all saying maybe three. Might need a bigger plate now. And then we have our beautiful black and white pudding. Now, bring over your mushrooms. 
potato bread nearly forgot it nearly forgot it just arrange that just kind of tuck that in there just to the side and then our lovely mushrooms and there you have your freshly cooked full Irish breakfast For me, it's all about using really, really good products. I'm just gonna garnish it just with a little bit of thyme. I don't have any parsley here. Just a tiny little bit of fresh thyme. Just a little bit of freshness, and there we go. So that's our full Irish. So that beautiful black and white pudding from Mears Producers. They've been making black and white pudding for generations in County Clare. The gorgeous dry cured bacon with whiskey and um, kind of like infused bacon it's so delicious the tomato potato bread and your lovely sausages and your mushrooms and your corn fed eggs so that's it guys enjoy this recipe it's very very quick but it's all about getting the really really best of irish ingredients and enjoying this and um, it's hard to beat it's a feast <laughs>